I should go first, Sibi. No, Ezra. Your orders are to stay back and protect the asset. This place is crawling with bucket heads. Sabine, let's be optimistic. Hey, stop right there! You were saying? It's only two stormtroopers. There could have been a lot more. See? Optimistic. Stay right where you are. You go protect our cargo, and I'll distract them. But go! Quick, after them. How are we supposed to get up there? There have to be steps. <laughs> Remind me to tell Agent Callus that we need more steps in this theater. <laughs> Copy that. <laughs> combination of Crespo Walken and Al Pacino, you get O.C. Sobek. So there are like all sorts of fun, so many different characters on Clone Wars. My favorite one to be was Obi-Wan Kenobi. Any? Yeah. One or two. I was so thrilled to bring... You guys hear me? To Rebels, I'm not... Thank you. Oh, is that better? Yeah. Oh, see, it's the it's the bucket head. That's what it is. <laughs> Such a thrill to be able to bring everyone back to Rebels. And did anybody see that? Yeah. Well, it sounds as though not everybody did. So let's take a look at Obi Wan in action in Star Wars Rebels. This is Master Obi Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen with the dark shadow of the Empire rising to take their place. This message is a warning and a reminder for any surviving Jedi. Trust in the Force. Do not return to the Temple. That time has passed. And our future is uncertain. We will each be challenged. Our trust, our faith, our friendships. But we must persevere, and in time, a new hope will emerge. May the Force be with you. Always. Love, love doing that stuff. Great, great fun to be on the Disney XD Star Wars Rebels is a fantastic new show. We're so excited about all of it, and I want to tell you all about it, but I think it's better to show you all about it. So, for those of you that may not be completely caught up on Season 1 of Rebels, Take a look at the screen. Let's check out season one of Star Wars Rebels. Yeah, hi, what do we think? Star Wars Rebels. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. This is more like it. This is better. Man, armor, I gotta tell you. Okay, so who is ready to meet Zeb? Yeah. 
I see even Ezra's in the audience there. That's good, good little Ezra outfit there. We are so excited because Star Wars Rebels is so awesome, and we have a fantastic guest. It's his first day, so you got to give him a lot of love, although it's his second time here. But this time, he actually gets to talk about Star Wars Rebels, because last year he couldn't say anything. Before we bring him out, let's take a look at him in action on the screen.
little studio in the middle of England somewhere. You said it was like in a, in a normal neighborhood and then yeah, you couldn't they, find it? Well, they didn't have a regular studio. It was kind of in the outskirts. Uh, Which happens them. a lot. For those of you that may not know, because voiceover is one of those things where you just are required to be in a small padded room, as I joke, it's yeah. really the truth. So they could be anywhere. They could be in a home. They could be in an office space. They could be in an actual studio space. Yeah. But so you were at but a home studio. This was in somebody's house. And they, I got a cab. I got the address. And they dropped me off in the middle of this neighborhood at night. And I'm wandering around, and it's a bunch of beautiful homes. And I'm, I'm going to knock on doors. I can't really see yeah. the, the addresses. And finally, this, this beautiful little older husband and wife come out. They look like Ma and Pa Kettle. Hello, you're here. This way. <laughs> and, they, and then you go in and record together. And they walked me in, and we recorded it together. They didn't know either. They didn't wow. know Star Wars either. So we were all excited together when we found out. So there's something familiar about Zeb. And it's really his look because, I don't know if everybody knows this, but Ralph McQuarrie's original art for Star Wars really set the tone for so many characters. And of course, you have those beautiful ones of Darth Vader and stuff. But he's really kind of based on... He's based on Chewbacca. The original design for Chewbacca. Did you all know that? Did you know that? Yeah, so... I have the toy at home. So. Yeah. <laughs> so he's really stylized as to what a Wookiee may have looked like before. But what is Zeb's actual... Heritage. What is Zeb is a Lassant from the planet Lassan. Okay. We don't know a whole lot about him yet because we'll reveal that possibly in season two. You've got to watch. Yes. Uh, yeah, but he's a warrior from his planet. He's, he comes from a race of warriors and uh, his people were decimated by the Empire. And that's as much as we really know now, but hopefully we'll delve a little more bit back into his backstory. Yeah. Has there been a big change for you? Do you approach the character differently now knowing there's a new a new season and that you're going to go new places? Uh, well, the only difference really for Zeb is that he has to get used to playing along well with others. And he's, he's, he's a little bit grouchy, he acts like a little teenager sometimes. Yeah. So he, has, he has a little bit of problem uh, getting to know people. But once he does, he's one of the most loyal guys out there. And now we find out that we're working with a much wider group of people in the Rebellion that's actually much bigger than any of us thought. Right, so, absolutely. Uh, yeah, and going off to the fall and so... Yeah, you're going to encounter some bad guys, right? Maybe safe, so. Safe to say there's mm -hmm. going to be some, some even bigger bad guys than the Inquisitor? I think it's probably safe to say that. Yeah. I think you could say that. Yeah. You know, in fact, that particular bad guy, um, there's a little secret, a little spoiler. I don't know, because we have not mentioned, we've been doing the show now for, for two weeks here at Star Wars Weekends. Nobody has mentioned that Darth Vader who makes an appearance. We've seen him. He was in season one. Yes, he was. The voice. Tell us about that. It is the one and only James Earl Jones. Isn't that fantastic? I didn't get to work with them because they don't trust me in the same room, evidently. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, he might have been in New York or something. Yeah, or I don't know. I, He's usually doing plays there. But uh, how great that, that he's able to reprise his role. We have Frank Oz reprise his as yes. Yoda. And uh, Frank Oz will be here week five, by the way, of Star Wars Weekends, which will be a great thing to see him. Yes, and Billy D. Williams. Billy, uh, Billy D. Williams yeah. was Lando. Yes, yeah. he's always yeah. Lando. I, I, I've had so many squeeing fanboy moments in the studio. <laughs> it's, it's amazing just to be working on this project. And you get to do a lot of other characters in the show, too. Like, I, I, you know, I mean, I know you because we work together so often, and I, I go, oh, wait, that's Steve. Like, you're some stormtroopers every once in a while. I got to play my hand at being a stormtrooper here. Yes. I'm generally stormtrooper number three. Number three, Number yeah. three, and uh, stormtrooper commanders. And, okay. And several other things. I speak a few languages in the show. And, and you were a Star Wars fan growing up. Yes. So how yes. weird is that? It's really weird. I was there in 1977 opening weekend, and I, I remember sitting that. there as a high schooler coming out of high school seeing the Star Destroyer come across the screen for the first time and just go, oh! Yeah. <laughs> and, and now all these years later to be part of this franchise, it's, it's humbling. It's and now you go, oh! Yeah, exactly. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. And this is like your favorite move here. He uh, yeah. tends to, you gotta teach me that one with those two guys that were shooting at uh, well, Sabine and Ezra there. Shoot up again, we can make that happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're off the back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, good, good. You never know because things are going around here. Uh, There's uh, always some trouble. So I, I imagine so. so. Now, uh, what else? Because, okay, Tia, we had Tia Sakar here, and she is Sabine. We had Vanessa Marshall, who's Hera, and they brought some secrets you've told us about James Earl Jones. Is there any big juicy stuff you can leak now that, you know, everybody, shh, we won't tell, right? Is oh, there any? Oh. No, no. It's all top secret. Sorry. Top, top secrets, secret. yeah. Lasers pointed right to the Speaking of which, okay, you might actually talk to Oh, hey! Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, it's Chopper! Uh, hey. Chopper, you know Steve? Yeah. Well, I'm I thought I left you on the ship. You're <laughs> following me now. So, wait, I'm sorry, what, what's going on, Chopper? Secret footage? 
of season two. I speak a little droid, but uh, okay. Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni is super Supervising director of, of Clone or Star Wars and Rebels and Clone Wars and all that. He's, okay, so Chopper has some video footage of season two's top secret stuff with Dave Filoni. Oh, I guess it's okay then. He needs to get it to the ghost, but he needs to use our, our equipment here to transfer through. But that would mean you guys would have to see it. And I don't know if anybody wants to see that footage. Yeah! Yeah! Chopper, should we show it to him? Okay, good. You can see the thumbs up. Take a look. So the exclusive footage of season two and a little intro by Dave. What's gonna happen, Steve? Well, season two premieres Saturday, June twentieth at eight o'clock on Disney XD. I know you'll be watching it. Yes, I will. I hope all of you will be watching it. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the fantastic Steve. Whoa. Do you know what it is? I think I do. May the Pulse be with you. Take care. Enjoy your time. Here's all we can.